Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. Okay, so quests and tasks plenty. Let's check out the tasks first. Um so endless path, parable world, retrieve the stolen scroll. Grimda said that one of the thieves mentioned an abandoned farm on the path of Deerford. We have not been there, okay. So these are bounties. Okay, 64. Uh, you know, the wires, the ogre, sh and ogre shaman was has been recognized. Turns around Elmshore, can't go there yet. Uh, Sly Sirdal hat. And take his head. Okay, so I do need to kill this guy. Okay. Use Easter's device to track down precious metals outside of Durgan's battery. Kill Ilmar and take his head. Uh, there's a rumor that the Glimmer Society has taken refuge in the white part should lay low before their next attack. Some say that they can be found... Okay, that's Love Watch. Love Watch falls. Mesta and her sisters, a band of wor worshippers of the Wrath, have been spotted in the wilds and surrounded Dur and surround Durgan's battery. Okay, they will to Long Watch Falls. Well, then that's also Long Watch. Okay. But in memory journey to the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. That's Andras. It's Kit Bearer. And then Maneha, a gift of Andra seeks a hidden abbey where. Okay, that is my companion. <coughs> hey, Frick, the innkeeper at the Grass Rift thinks there's something suspicious about one of his guests. According to him, the Orleans thing. Okay, Feyre, a travel traveling skull, an expeditioner, was attacked by Lugwafest near Durgan's battery. She lost her companions. Okay, I'm busy with this as well. <coughs> Ocran has lost everything during the attack against Talwood before leaving the village behind. The dwarf wants to recover a medallion. Yes. Uh, the steward of Kaid Noir. Okay. People I can deal with. Don't know. Okay. So everything is basically in the other side. Okay, there. Hey. Hey there. Let's just do that. Hey. And there you go. I found your chest that they were filled only with rocks. I heard the worship was Barath recently. Little happens around here that doesn't end in the mouths of the villages, but we're obligated to assist everyone regardless of their faith. The group of women came to us. Yes, their leader wanted to know of Durgan's battery. I obliged and pointed them in its direction. I find your chest they were filled with only with rock. I see no use keeping this charade any longer, is there? A group spring into action, the sounds of unleashing blades. Uh, but we shouldn't act so hash rashly. She holds up hands. The thieves keep their weapons pointed at you. We've been pretend pretending, yes, but it is uh, it is so different. Is, is it so different from what Andra Andra's priests do? Villages and travelers gave, give us things they want to forget. We make them disappear. Isn't that the same thing? We aren't murderers and we prefer to be as far away from cursed place from this cursed place as we can. Why make a bloody mess out of this? I'm willing to help you look the other way. She fixes her eyes on you. What do you propose? I don't want anything anything from you, but I won't throw you to those villages either. Not a chance. I'll let the villagers decide what to do with you. What do you propose? A simple deal. You keep our little secret to yourself and we share some of our offerings with your with you before we slip away. Um, Kexetel brought back the dwarves heirloom. You can have them. I agree with them. I don't want anything to do. Not a chance. Okay. Let's turn to face. Raise arm. The folds of her robe fall back to reveal a cocked pistol pointing at you. Cock that pistol. Hey. 
Stay there. And everybody but a lot of And yeah. everyone but a lot of ones. Man. I just wish they would give me another one. Exactly. That didn't work. Try something else. Get the next one. Did you try something else? How are these guys so hard? These guys are so hard. They just do not want to die. And that's how it's done. Plastic is exceptional, front overwhelming wave, quantum bolt. Looking at giving her other armor as well, so I'll be walking with that shit all the time. With that said, I don't really think we do have armor for her at the moment. Except if we give her this, because this is heavy armor. Yeah?
I know where the keeper calls joy looms away. Did you find them? What about that? I have the medallion. Oh, let's see if the ball goes wider. Oh, here it is. Open takes the medallion ginger. Gingerly in his palms, taking care not to smudge it with his dirty fingertips. Yes, it's her hair loom. He smiles and then and measures the pool his attention back to you. You've done good to here today, I swear if I had the kingdom treasure to give you a bit I also found your armor. I don't need it. Don't know what I, what I do with it. He knows keep it. More luck more luck to you. He turns around and walks away, looking not to the path ahead, but the precious heirloom clenched in his um, hands. Even so, the stride of a short leg seems filled with confidence. Okay, this one down. Fighting needs fierce damage. Faithful companion. Comes faithful companion passive. Just say defense against charms dominated. Yes. Again? Torrent of flame, instantaneous and kind of flame around the past. Yes. Most of hardened veil. Shrink of the wizard arcane veil, providing the particular high deflection bonus. No press arcane veil. Condense the priest first, dazing any enemies in the area of effect. Everyone receives less healing from the priest's holy radiance, but the priest gains a bonus to all attributes. No way. Thank you. That's hey there. something I can play in Divinity 2. Something like a combat medical, or a combat priest or something like that. That'd be great. Please completely focus on combat skills. Not even done with this one. We already talked about my character in the period too. No, oh, I want to come to you. I want to in. at the end. There we go. Any progress with Devala? Says that you agreed to your endurance, that you killed a boy in your And estate. I thought you were going to get rid of Devala, not sell me out to her. He takes a deep breath, but his eyes still focus. What on she you. said is true. I had a gambling problem when I was younger. I've paid seven years of my life for it. I won't pay any more. So what do you propose we do here, my dude? As for the boy, 
I didn't want to hurt him. But he saw me as I was sneaking out of the stockade. His shoulders go limp and he gazes, gazes distant at the memory. He shakes I his head. I wish it had gone differently. But I'd do it again. Anything to keep from getting sent back to that place. I've already killed her. Your crime from Gambana is you'll do penance in the prison of Cat Noir. Cliff hunches like a cornered animal, burying his teeth in a grimace. His eyes dart around the dingy room and back to you. Finally, he straightens. He it's says, not a yoke around my neck. And I suppose it's better than dying in this frozen crater of a town. Two-handed style. She doesn't even have two-handed whip. Hey there. Got rid of that little fella, eh? Take this with my thanks. Didn't need his trouble around here. Anyway, what brings you back? Top quality bear. Okay, first. May well watch your step. Gores. I'm gonna do this because they obviously have quests in this in the expansion. Um, so I think I'm gonna carry them with. Well, I'll take them with me, not carry them with me. Let's do that. Then we rest. You wake and hear some someone stirring, growling. Looking over, you see Manaya twitching and muttering in her sleep. You can't make out what she's saying, but from her bare teeth and the sheen of sweat on her bow, brow, this seems like a very bad dream. Wake up, Manaya. <laughs> She says, bolt upright, roaring and reaching for her weapon. Calm down. What? Oh. Her gaze starts around, but slowly focuses on you. She grimaces and looks away, wiping up. Oh, face. sorry. So, uh, I must have been dreaming. She lies back down and turns away from you. You can't help but notice how carefully she's avoiding your gaze. About what? No, it's nothing. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Just tell me what's going on. Good night. I'm sorry about last night. There's something I should tell you. We were just in conversation and you didn't uh -huh. want to tell me. Well, I don't normally talk about this, but you mentioned your awakening. Okay. I guess I've had a similar problem. There's something I remember from a former life. Happened hundreds of years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember it. Happened while I was fighting in Old Balia 20 years ago. My unit was camped out in the palace we'd just taken. The others were roasting the last of the Marchesos pigs in the feast hall. So I went to the wine cellars to fetch a few bottles. I don't know how long she'd been hiding there, but there was this old woman. Must have been one of the servants. She had this wild look in her eyes. I approached her and tried to tell her not to be afraid, that she was safe. She screamed and grabbed my arm. It felt like someone had hit me in the back of my head. I blacked out for a few minutes, and when I came to, she was gone. I took a few bottles up with me, feasted with the rest of the troops. But when I went to bunk, I had a dream. Only it was more vivid than any dream I've ever had. 
I tasted the sweat on my lips, felt the jungle air on my skin, heard the cries. What about the old woman? I asked the other troops. None of them had seen her. Anyway, I laid off the drink for several days, but I kept having the dream. After a few weeks, I, I thought a change of scenery might do me good. Since then, I've been a pirate in the Deadfire, a pilgrim in the White That Wins, an adventurer in the Living Lands, and a gift bearer in a Shamadal. That's why I'm really going to the Abbey of the Fallen Moon to get it. Not... There's a pool there, the Salt Well. It's where gift bearers leave the heaviest burdens. It's said that a person can enter it and leave their own memories behind. And you would leave this haunting memory in the salt well. That's the plan. What if you lose more than you intend? <laughs> At this point, I'd gladly give up all my memories if that's what it takes for peace in this life and the next. I wanted to ask you something. How did you end up in the salt water? Salt water. The other gift bearers told me salt water was close to the abbey. So they suggested I ask for the direction in town. You mean the other gift bearers don't know where the abbey is? Like I said, it's one of Andra's most ancient temples and her followers aren't really known for their uh, record keeping. You're not exactly dressed for the weather. Well, the flats will flat uh, as platters, so when the gift bearer told me the wood was up in the mountains, I thought they were exaggerating. She shrugged. Anyway, I hate packing. Uh, tell me why you really became a gift bearer. I heard about the uh, order from some missionaries while I was in the living lands. I heard Andra's uh, doctrine before, but man, why can't I read? But the way they talked about the peace of getting um, washing the old away with the tide, it sounded good. And give bearers work, taking the road, helping people lose their own burdens. That sounded good too. Kept hoping I, I'd find a way for me to lose my burden along the way. Come about yourself. Where to begin? I spent most of 10 years as a mercenary in Old Valia. Plenty of work there. She tilts her head up and starts counting items off her finger. After that, I fought with pirates in the dead fire, or for them, depending on who was paying. Did a short stint in the white that wins, then roamed around the living lands, and finally joined the gift bearers of Examatal. And here I am, she grins. Actually, I was asking about where you came from before your adventures. Not much to tell. I grew up in Ruatui, left when I was still pretty young and haven't been back since, why not? Oh, you know, spent almost 20 years there, change the scenery is good, right? I see. Better to look forward than back, that's what I'd say. But why so much travel? Guess staying in one place never much suited me. And you gave up solid soldiering, piracy and adventuring to join Andra's gift bearers? She loves still plenty of adventuring, just different circumstances. I've questions about the lands you visited. So much to talk about. What, what was Old Belia like? Grand is skirmish every day and a feast at another comte or Marseille. So keep every night. Those were good, carefree days. Tell me about the dead fire arc. Dangerous. You got pirates and sea monsters. You don't even get me started on the merchants. I had a good run there, but got tired of trying to keep track of who had a knife pointed at my back. What were your experiences in the white that wins? Short that place is too cold for anything but leaving. I'm curious about the living lands. She laughs. Most folks are even after 10 years there, feels like I just saw the edges of the place. You can start the day in a desert and find yourself in the middle of a jungle by nightfall. Everything there is just a little wild. It goes for, for the folk as well as the creatures. Part of me misses it still, but you, you wake up every day knowing it might be your last. I, st I stayed la lucky longer than anyone has right to expect. That's all I wanted to know. That's all for now. Two weapon fighting. Accurate carnage. Modifies carnage, but what accuracy is barbaric blow. No barrier, one per gun speed, uses full attack.
friends here. Yeah. Since the Valorian two friends instead granting a might constitution attack speed bonus but causing a deflection penalty against incoming attacks while the Valkyrian friends is act is active, his or her endurance and health are concealed. Four might four plus thirty three attack speed. Savage defiance. The Valkyrian channels his or her own irresponsible testimonies, generating a large amount of endurance. Blooded. Self plus twenty five damage. All endurance below 50. It's a passive, I like this one. Can I take accurate coronage? Does she have two weapon fighting? Two weapon fighting. There we go. Bloodlust. Parts an unbridgeable bloodlust to the barbarian, increasing his or her speed to improve in battle once he or her sh he or she has personally downed at least two enemies. One stands alone. The player makes a courageous stand against all attackers, grants a melee damage bonus when the barbarian is adjacent to two or more enemies, and the barbarian cannot be flanked unless engaged by more than three enemies. Shit! Barbarian hits so hard that ordinary means of defense can be easily overpowered. On attacks that normally target the flex of the barbarian will instead attack fortitude. Barbarians are fucking strong. Accurate carnage. Bloodthirst. After killing an enemy, the barbarian recover, the barbarian's recovery is waived, allowing them to attack again immediately. Bloodthirst is attack speed threatening presence. The presence of <coughs> the barbarian's mere presence becomes intimidating to, as to fill all approaching enemies with new, um, nauseating dread. As long as the barbarian is stationary, nearby enemies may be sickened. Area of effect radius from caster. Thick skinned. Toughness of barbarian's natural thick skin, raising his or her damage reduction passive three damage reduction. On brute force damage defense, defiance. I'm gonna go for that attack speed. What? Okay, product attack fly all. No. Um, battle axe, sword, morning star. Vengeful defeat. Exacts a final revenge when the barbarian reduces to zero endurance, causing him or her to perform instant carnage. Full attacks at everyone in range. Wow. Barbaric shout. That's out a dreadful shout, terrifying enemies in the area. I think I want that. Feeling received recovery endurance. Okay, she can only wear light armor. I can't place all swords on her. And now I barely have weapons for her. I actually don't have weapons for her. Okay, but we will find some for her. Armor, light. 
think she can wear this. Reflect and healing received, perception. Reflect and healing received. That's defense against spells. Whoa. Then a loss. I don't like the spell. Fortune rides a cloud. Yeah, I also don't like this one. It creates a semi permanent, permeable barrier that inflicts crush damage and hobbles. Minor Grimoire Emperor gives a cause the access to up to three free third level lower spells from Targa Word. The wizard can subsequently cause those spells an unlimited number of times for the duration. Shit! Mm-hmm. Back to warm your hand. Top quality bear pelt. Okay. Sure. With this set, okay, so we can do that now. That, and then he can go back because that spell is not really. Mm-hmm. Effective anymore. Talk to me about travel time. Oh, I never handed it that. Okay. Bring back the feisty one. There's a woman can do some damage squeezing her legs together. It isn't a parlor trick. Besides, she doesn't take orders well. She has backbone, that woman. Does it scare you? No, but I won't be responsible for what happens if you call her whore. Damn. They'll never know I'm here. A few odds and lights guided by the ball. There appears to be a half a struggle here, but the evidence is half buried under the thin blanket of snow. Most of the essence hover the, in the chilly air. Reach out to the essence. The soul fragment plunges you into a memory. Your name is Egard. Egard. 
you've never been more than 20 miles from home, let alone to the White Marsh, and yet you've been climbing steadily higher for a week, for a week now. The air is too thin, your clothes are too light, and you've barely got any, another three days <clears throat> worth of food with you, but you've never felt better. You've only had a handful of fainting spells since you began your journey. You've had as many in a single day before. But the dreams have been the best part. Despite the frozen rocky ground and the screeching wind, sleep was found, has found you each night and brought your visions of magic. Majestic peaks wrapped in snow. The cold is but a, uh, sweat, a sweet ache in your bones. And as you hike into the wind, you feel that ache spreading along with a certainty that you're getting closer to him or her, your soul twin, a stranger whose soul mirrors your own, one of one of the few people in Yora who could understand the constant torment of the split soul, and the only person who could help you relieve it. Something approaches through the shroud of snow ahead. You feel a throbbing presence, like a heart by heartbeat through linen, and you and you know. The vision ends abruptly. You find yourself staring at your scattered belongings while his elation ebbs from your veins. Inspect the area. An empty pack lies in the snow. It's been torn nearly in two. Also, muddy tracks churn the ground. It's difficult to discern their type or number, but they appear to lead north. I can't loot that! Get out of the way, spirit! How about we cause that? Oh, it's a single target. Man. Let's see what happens. Barbaric yell. Let's have a terrifying yell fighting enemies in the area. Okay. Barbarian deals a massive blow, causing additional crits and extra damage. Here we go. By attacking the Umberto's curiosity character on how I sacrifice my accuracy for a significant boost. <laughs> this ability exploits the shared bonds of you. Let's do this. Activate that. Professional self. The monk immediately inflicts enough raw damage on himself or herself to gain a wound. Stunning blow. Where are you? Okay. <laughs> What? The priest first dazzling an enemy. What? That looks like it hurt. Okay, so on that note, I don't think monks are cool anymore. They need to take that and just look at me. Stupid. It'll be good to rest. Sure. Mm hmm. Oh, a 
And if I find something good, you can have half. You peer into the pool of water is perfect here, but you don't see anything of note. I will walk unseen. I'll teach you a lesson! Why does she die so quick? Oh, I'm getting the feeling stopping out but a gene on that other guy was the worst mistake ever. Why do you take so long to cross stuff? By the time this guy casts his spells, these people are dead. Show him how it's done. Bullseye. <laughs> Maybe I just don't understand these skills, but I, I don't like them. Sure. And if I find something good, you can have that.
something else. Hey there. Oh, the barbarian's dead again. Sure. What is that? I got journal. Most of your remaining pages are ruined with mud, but you can make out an entry near the end of the journal. I also woke up in the morning and saw my toes. I turned blue, spent the last of my fuel warming them up, but it only took me an hour to start a campfire this time. How far I've come. I passed the village yesterday and thought about stopping. A warm bed and a proper meal would have been a treat after almost a week in these mountains. But I don't want to lose track of myself, too, and not, even, not when I'm so close. I dreamed of the cave behind the waterfall last night. I think that's where I'll find him. I'm not sure what else I, it could be, but I'd better... Next page is missing and the rest are unbearable, unreadable. I don't have a bubble on this thing, but now I have not a bubble on it. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm here. Hey there. Hey. Take it. Oh, I've got the dude's thing. Thermal coral. I'll see what I can find.
nowhere. You're not getting through me. Hey there. I'll teach you a. I honestly don't know. Bullseye. If you're someone nudge the small of your of your back, you turn around, no one's standing there, but you feel it again, something is moving in your back. You open your back to your soft gurgling sound. As you're running through the your belongings, something slick brushes you. It's, it's a baby lug of earth. It watches you with wink wink curious. The eggshell fragments still stuck on its body. For the first person it saw, it's gonna think you're its papa. The little full armed fish baby is your son. I couldn't be happier for you. You lost an old person or you have been an item baby lug of attitude. Hey there. Hey there. I'm not really focused into the monk. I really care about him at the moment. Not him or her. And what does the flame reveal? something to attack maybe I mean, that would help this well done isn't how I usually work hey. that was enjoying himself and he's dead again also oh. nothing new Into his I'll teach you a lesson. Sure. Hey there. Sure. Lay low.
that's how it... Oh, look, they're gonna die again. That oh, was enjoyable. <laughs> Look, he did die again. Cross the fucking oh, spell. They just suck too much. I can't play with these two. Hey there. Scenic marches and campfire feasts. Like the good old days on the Valian front. You got any memories like that, Adair? Well, let's see. Uh, sometimes we'd march two, three sure. days without sleep. Start seeing things that weren't there. <laughs> nice thing about mercenary work is you can always quit. Yeah?
Ähm. Zack, the. Did you cause that? No, you did not. <laughs> I couldn't even care less what's happening now. That much is all fucking die. I don't care. So I hey am there. going to fetch Pelagina and the Druid. I am not playing with these guys. They are. Absolute dog shit. Back to warm your hands, you top quality bear. Very well. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Nothing. I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. Um, we in the next episode we will actually go back to Cat Noir quickly and do that council thing that just popped up. And right. then Fetching feathers, lass. from there, repeat please in Adirin, and stand closer so I can finish Long Watch Falls and then go to Dragon's Battery. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and have a fantastic day.